Welcome back everyone, going to do another subscriber review that was submitted to me. I'm trying out a new uh, layout with the uh, panels directly to the side instead of below, so also let me know what you think about this. <laughs> this was sent to me by my friend Dermeister, he's a strong player, he uh, is uh, 2100 plus rated on the Steam app. <laughs> and uh, So we're going to take a look at this game that he submitted and uh, see what he did and how we would might have changed some things. <laughs> So, starting off, um, a great hand. Mars University and Viral Enhancers are excellent. Uh, you love seeing Virus as well. Imported Hydrogen, top tier card. Um, Plantation's pretty good too when you already have the two science tags, and one of them is Viral Enhancers. And even Black Polar Dust and Trees isn't looking too bad here either. So, in this position, I think I would probably do Teractor and take Imported Hydrogen, Plantation, Black Polar Dust, Virus, Trees, Mars U, and Viral. And I would probably open up with uh, Black Polar Dust here on two plants. And, uh, or you could do two cards, but I lean towards two plants. Um, but two cards has value because of Mars U. But my general idea here is I want to be able to go for conversion with imported hydrogen, plantation. Actually, you know what you could do is you can do black polar dust on two cards. And then next generation, assuming they're kind of trash, you could do like Mars University into viral to get a, a plant. And then... Uh, Imported hydrogen to get five plants, then you can do plantation there and then convert. That actually seems pretty good too. With virus already accounted for, that seems pretty strong. That might be a bit much for uh, Gen 2, but overall I think that is a reasonable plan to have here. So I kind of do like black polar dust on two cards. Uh, but let's see what he chooses to do. So he does Inventrix and he skips black polar dust. So I wouldn't do Inventrix here. Inventrix has a reputation of eternally poor, and uh, it just seems to be how it usually turns out with Inventrix. And with a hand to stack, I value extra money more than I value three cards. He also keeps Great Dam, which I think is acceptable as Inventrix, but I personally would not keep it. I would just go to Ractor and take the Black Polar Dust over the Great Dam. But let's see what we draw. So, great cards. Tech Demo, Business Network, Micro Mills. So, Tractor, if we had gone uh, Black Polar Dust on two cards, would have been very rewarded by picking up those cards there. But uh, we didn't, so let's see what he does here. Business Network. Okay, I don't like that. So, yes, Business Network is a fine card to play as Inventrix. My problem with it is that we already have a pretty stacked hand, and we picked a pretty poor corp which now is even poorer with the minus one. So while I don't hate this move in theory, I think it could have waited until we develop some of our stacked hand. Um, so I'm not going to call this a mistake. It's just not something I would want to do in this position. And I see our opponent is Credicor here, so let's see what they decide to do. Okay, Natural Preserve on one Titanium. Okay, it's not bad. Um... And convoy from Europa with the titanium on two cards. Okay. Uh, not terrible. I think that's fine. So they draw three cards. We don't know what they are. We look at our card and heat trappers. Uh, worth speculating on potentially to hit the credit core, but also on BGA they tend not to get heat prod very often, I've noticed. So it's also fine to skip because it slows down our otherwise incredible hand. Uh, I th so I think you could go either way on this one. He skips it, which, like I say, I think is semi is pretty reasonable. Could have also kept it. We'll see what he does. All right, industrial microbes. That's a fine development play. And everyone passes. All right. So great cards here. I think in this position you take the mole hole area. It seems like the best card. It would have gone very nicely with my uh, Teractor line with Black Polar Dust that gets us up to 7 Heat Prod Gen 2, which is great. So yeah, Mohol, uh, clear pick here. Uh, Colonizer Training Camp is the scariest of these cards, I think. He takes Mag Field Dome. 
I don't really agree with that. I think I'm happy if my opponent plays Magfield Dome. I'm uh, not as happy if they play Colonizer and luck into other Joves. Um, Predators comes back. I think with Viral Enhancers, Predators is a no-brainer to at least cut. Maybe you keep it. But yeah, he does uh, do that. Uh, in this position, I would probably take Predators since I have Viral Enhancers in hand already. But uh, it's okay to skip uh, if you think you'll find something better later on. Uh, I'd keep it, though. He just keeps Molholeria, which is fine. Just I think I'd have kept Predators here. Our opponent keeps four cards. That's crazy. That pack was not good enough to keep four cards. So are they going for Planner? That's, that's a little dubious to go for Planner when you have... 21 TR and 1 MC production. We'll have to see. Maybe they just liked all four cards for some reason. So they play Carbonate Processing. Okay. So that's reasonable. I don't have any issue with that. We draw so we don't like Chop Resort. We're wanting to get heat, not spend our heat. And they pass. We play our Molehole Air. Oh, wait. We play Imported Hydrogen. Okay, I don't like that. Um, I think what he's trying to go for is to get five plants with imported hydrogen, and then molehole area next to that to get the seven plants, and then you can, like, viral enhancers convert. But then we're missing out on the Mars U value. So I'm not really sold on the idea of needing a conversion so badly that we're playing uh, imported hydrogen right now to uh, do that. So, if it were me, I would just play Molehole Area this generation, and that would be that. Uh, instead, we're kind of forcing ourselves to taking drastic action with this play. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, now we're going to have to basically open with Viral Enhancers Convert, which uh, means we miss out on the Mars U value. So, uh, not a fan of this play. Okay, uh, Restricted Area is uh, incredible. Uh, we can do that instead of Viral Enhancers, but it still doesn't change the fact that Mars University is uh, losing some value here. Uh, of these, I think Higher Raiders is the most painful when we're kind of poor at the moment. Yep. Uh, these don't matter. I think Regolith is scarier because of the Science Tag. Yep. Agreed. An open city is cute, but it's so far away, and we don't have Steel Prod, and I would personally not keep it. I would just do Restricted and Hired here, which is what he does, so I agree with that. Okay, so we're like I said, we're kind of forced to do our placement so we can then convert it, so we lost some Mars U value. Flooding, okay, we're instantly hit, which uh, is very painful. Moss is played. Okay, so that was the danger of passing Moss previously, but I think you have to take Restricted over Moss there. Hired Raiders take the money. Makes sense to me. Uh, we draw Corporate Stronghold from Restricted Area. Uh, sadly, not that good, but could potentially be playable later on. But I wouldn't bet on it. Opponent plays Rover Construction, so that's a little bit of an odd move. They might be looking at playing a city now. Not sure. Uh, we get Inventor's Guild, so this is a toughie. Yes, we want Inventor's Guild because it synergizes great with Mars University, but can we actually afford Inventor's Guild here? I'm not so sure we can. So this is a bit of a tricky one to me. I think in this position, I would take the Inventor's Guild, but I think I'd be a little more justified in doing so because I would be Teractor in this position and uh, would have had some extra money to uh, play this more effectively and I'd have gotten the discount on Business Network and on uh, Imported uh, Hydrogen. So I, I, I really think the Inventrix being poor is proving to be true once again, and we're going to regret uh, being in this situation. 
Uh, Inventor's Guild, like I said, I think I would keep, but it's close. He chooses not to keep, which is defendable because we are very poor. We already have two card draw. I'm not certain we could support another card draw, so it might be that he's just more disciplined than I am. So, again, I'm not calling that a mistake. I think that's just a difference in play style more than anything. But uh, I, I really think it's Inventrix that's causing a lot of problems right now. And I am aware, by the way, that Inventrix drawing the three cards means that everything that uh, we're seeing here would not be the same anymore. Teractor would cause everything to be three cards off, so we'd be seeing drastically different things, but yeah, I can't go down that many permutations. <laughs> Alright, um, Ice Asteroid's fantastic. Um, gotta take that here, I think. Yep. Uh, Urbis is also fantastic, with Viral Enhancers especially, so yes, thank you. Uh, Subrez is worth cutting, not worth playing, I'd say, when we already have Ice Asteroid in hand and we don't know where Kelp Farming is. Um, I don't want to move the game towards Kelp Farming without it being accounted for. Oh, excuse me. So I just take these uh, two, I think. Yeah, reasonable. <laughs> We're hit by the cloud seeding. Did not expect that one. Uh, that's a little painful to us. Our opponent now has three plant prod, so a little annoying, but uh, I don't think we're necessarily in danger of losing Gardener yet since we have the virus in hand. Uh, we get mining rights. That's great. So here I think I would just go ahead and slap the mining rights down there on the titanium. Go ahead and get that production going up. We already have a great titanium dump in Ice Asteroid. Uh, it seems pretty good. So we raise heat, draw a card, extreme cold fungus, uh, cute, but mm, we don't have any microbe target in hand right now, and that's too speculative to buy. We're too poor. And he plays plantation. So I will be honest, I don't understand what the point of the plantation is here. I think the point is that by going up to four plants, we're able to now do like as ice asteroid for four plants and then convert. But we're missing out on viral enhancers value, which is also in itself missing out on Mars University value. And it's not like this is our only development. We have mining rights in our hand. We can just play the mining rights on the titanium and be perfectly happy. So I, I don't like this move. Ah, hey, look, at there it is, kelp farming. Sure wish we had an extra uh, 15 bucks right around now, so that uh, this card might be more playable. Oh, and if we had some titanium uh, to help play the ice asteroid. <laughs> yeah, clear kelp farming, but I think it's compounding here. Um, very interesting Noctis City versus local heat trapping here, because local heat trapping is... Uh, playable for him right now, and that gets him the plants that he uh, would need for a conversion, which could be really annoying when it comes to Gardener. But I think with two plants already down, Gardener is safe enough. So, I think Noctis City is a little scarier. But I do think local heat trapping is pretty annoying as well. Um, the good news is with Virus, we could just kill his plants and prevent the conversion. But uh, again, we're missing out on the Mars University and the Viral Enhancer's value. So our our poorness is catching up to us. It's, uh, it's that whole meme about how being poor is more expensive than being rich because you have to keep buying the cheap stuff and can never buy the good stuff. Well, here we're having to keep missing out on our synergies because we can't afford to get them down. And we're always having to play the cards without the extra value. So, uh, problematic. I think I would go knock the city, but I can certainly see not uh, doing that and taking local heat trapping instead. Which he does. So, defendable, but I think knock the city is better in this situation. Farming's the clear uh, take there over the underground detonations. Worst card in the game. 
And while I would love to keep farming with viral enhancers, I think we are in gigapore right now. So I think only kelp farming can be kept here, sadly. Which is correct in this position. Now, like I said, I don't think I'd have gotten myself in this position, uh, having done the mining rights and not played the plantation. But that's neither here nor there. So Ice Asteroid is played. So I do like Ice Asteroid. That does get us the plants for a conversion. So that's nice. That's what that whole plantation line was kind of setting up. But uh, we uh, still can't play the kelp farming now. We're still too poor. And now we're sabotaged. Oof. Now our opponent plays Earth Office. Uh, pretty good. Okay. Uh, we sold a card. I don't know what we sold. It doesn't uh, show you uh, in the log. I'm just going to assume it was a bad card. Uh, and we draw a physics complex with restricted area, so yeah, that's not a good card. Opponent plays Lunar Beam, which uh, is interesting. Um, Credit Core does like to have some heat control because they can just standard out greeneries as they need to. We have another greenery coming in, so I think it's fine, especially with Earth Office value, so it's, it's reasonable enough. Uh, then they play hackers, though. Oh, I do not like the hackers play very much. I think Lunar Beam into hackers is pretty bad value. Uh, that being said, uh, Meister here is poor, and making him go to minus three is uh, incredibly painful for him. Like, oof. He now has just 24 cash of generation in order to play all the stuff we have in our hand. So, I am not a big fan of Lunar Beam into Hackers, but I do think it hurts Meister more than it hurts Credit Core here, just because minus three with this situation is so bad. We look to see what we could have gotten. Uh, it's always, in theory, better to do the card draw, even if you don't have the money to buy it. Because that way you get information about what's there and your opponent does not have it. It feels terrible when it's like the Earth Cat or the Research Outpost or the Deimos Down or something. But, uh, I mean, statistically it could just as likely not to be those cards. So you might as well look and see more information than your opponent. So, correct play on his part. It's a hard mental thing to get by, but uh, it is correct to do. Sells a card because he sees the five plants here, gets a conversion next gen, so selling a card to play Virus uh, is probably correct, but again, now we're missing out on more Viral Enhancer's value. Opponent raises heat. Alright, Virus is played. Alright, uh, good cards. Um... I think with Viral Enhancers and Herbivores already in hand, you're supposed to take Imported Nitrogen in this situation. I agree. Uh, your Inventrix, who uh, would like some power. Your opponent has Plant Prod, so pretty easy Biomass Combustors here. Uh, Arky's playable. Uh, Mangrove is playable too. Both of these are pretty good here. Uh, I would lean towards... Mangrove, just because it's already Gen 6, but Arky is playable for opponent, which is kind of scary. To, to go up to 4 plant prod here. Okay, Mangrove, that's completely defendable. Uh, so what I would want to do is I would want to keep 3, but the reality is we can't afford to keep 3. We need to play Kelp Farming this generation, which we can do because we're in Ventrix. So finally, the Corp is paying off for us. So, if we can only keep two... I would lean towards Mangrove and Imported Nitrogen, because we already have Great Dam in hand for the bi instead of Biomass Combustors, and while killing his plants is nice, um, I think the points matters more, and we already have the Viral Enhancers Synergy and the Irby Synergy, so I would take these two. Okay, he just takes Biomass Combustors, which I think is a little crazy. Biomass Combustors is fine, but uh, it, it's minus points. I It does kill our opponent's greeneries, which is fine, but I think it's more important to get some of the point scoring cards in this situation. 
Our opponent keeps three cards. They like their hand quite a lot, too. They open with Immigrant City. Okay, that's fine to put it there. Uh, you also could have put it there for two points, or you could put it here to secure one point and have some good rebates, which you can now use to kind of bully uh, Meister from getting uh, four plants back, potentially. That's probably where I would put it, but putting it there is fine as well. It's not wrong. An algae. Okay, so five plant prod, that's pretty good. Special design. Uh, okay, for all you naysayers that were going, oh, see, Inventrix paid off? Well, ha. <laughs> Special design would have been perfectly playable with this Teractor to get kilt farming online, but... Eh, at least we don't have to waste seven cash on that. Uh, draw deep well heating with our restricted area. Fine. Uh, opponent passes, so we'll just play our kelp farming, and we're happy with that. So already, mining rights has not been able to be played for like three generations. Uh, just showing how that plantation kind of has cascaded this whole thing, and uh, so I think. Uh, I think at this point we're our income is really kind of haunting us. Um, gear junior pair here is probably the uh, best card of the pack in terms of points and game impact, but it's too expensive for us to be quite honest. Even with Mars University, I think Industrial Center with our opponent having a city makes a lot of sense to just plop it right there and be able to convert in that pocket and we're at six plants so just being able to go boom boom seems really valuable in this situation so I would go industrial center over the gene repair he does so all right yeah you kind of have to take the Olympus conference now that you pass the gene repair we have Mars U so it's still probably worth keeping but again we're so poor um these cards don't matter Probably should take the energy saving. I might take the Martian Rails for the memes. It's kind of up to you. He chooses energy saving. It's fine. Neither card's being kept here. Um, so I think you take Industrial Center and Olympus Conference, and you open with Center Convert is the play I would make here. All right. Uh, mining rights on steel. Brave man. So yeah, you're denying uh, essentially six cash from your opponent, so it's a 12 cash swing. So I do think that mining rights is a pretty good play uh, to see that tactical possibility, but uh, it is going to risk all of our plants here, so better hope he doesn't have asteroid or something. But our opponent's also kind of poor and virus is out of the game, so there's pretty educated guess that's not available so yeah we put it there it's fine our opponent help plays research outpost uh brutal so that kind of makes sense now placing it right there as to why they placed their city over here they couldn't place the research outpost over here uh because of the ocean so putting that city there and then this city here i think that makes a lot of sense if they had research outpost in their hand um, I don't know if they did or didn't, but uh, I think it's reasonable if you make that assumption. And they convert it right there. I don't like that play. Both of these are conversions next to your city, but I would rather have the guy that's Gigapore uh, not get the four cash back and place the greenery right here instead. That way, if he wants to get some cash back, he has to put it next to your city for two cash instead of four cash, which I think is better in this situation. So he does just convert it for four cash there, so I think that was a small inaccuracy. Raises heat, so we're up to minus 24. We get the heat bonus there. Colonizer training camp, okay. Played it at the last second. I'm not sure it was so good for our opponent. But, uh, hey, if you're going to buy it, it's okay, I guess. That gets him up to seven building tags, so builders being threatened, mayors being threatened, planners being threatened. A lot of threats going on in the milestones, but we should always be able to grab Gardener right now. But even Gardener is being threatened next generation. He's going to open with a conversion, and then 
All it takes is one SP greenery, and uh, you've lost Gardener. Okay, Neptune is fine with uh, Mars, you, and Olympus, but again, we're so poor. TG, yeah, <laughs> we're never playing TG. Goodbye. Okay, so we play the biomass combustors. It's okay. Um, we bought it, so it might as well play it, I think. But uh, it's not accomplishing too much for us. Then you play Great Dam, and I don't like that. I do not like Great Dam. What do we need Great Dam for? Two extra power? We're having some dreams of, you know, getting the heat going up a little faster with the energy rolling over to heat. But uh, 12 mega credits is so expensive. And we're delaying the better cards in our hand, like Mars U and Olympus and Viral, to just get two power and a point. I think that's a mistake that probably should not have been played at all once we had uh, biomass combustors. Okay, um, in this situation I think you take the asteroid, get better control over the heat track, and you don't have your plants killed. Yep. Sad to pass investment loan though. We sure would like investment loan. But immediately rewarded with optimal arrow breaking. Love to see that. Uh, you could take permafrost or rad suits. Permafrost is fine. I would just keep these two. Uh, permafrost is interesting, but I'm not really looking to speculate on it at this time because uh, we're so poor. Yeah, so he does that. Opponent does a conversion. Um, so I think this is fine because you're threatening Gardener, but you're not really threatening Gardener because Meister can just claim, and you're now giving him access to take the oxygen bonus because he's going to have seven plants next generation, which means it's not hard for him to SP Greenery convert to grab that if he wants to, which is pretty valuable for him. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of converting here. I'd have held the plants, I think. So, Phobos, uh, not playable for us. It's just bad. Uh, adaptation tech, while hilarious with Inventrix, is too expensive and not good enough, even with Mars University and Olympus Conference. And it looks like he agrees with me. So, raise heat twice. I like that from Credicor. All right, so now we're playing the Mars University. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, we're still gigapore, so I'm not convinced we can afford to do this. But we do have enough synergies that I think we do have to play them at some point this game. So playing them now, not the worst. But I would personally wait one more gen. Save the maximum flexibility to get this bonus and fight over stuff like Terraformer. And... Uh, then go for the whole science train afterwards, because we don't really have any, like, thing we must play after playing Mars U and Olympus Conference here, so I think I'd just keep waiting. Okay, Rad Kim, that's probably playable eventually with the four power that we have. Now Olympus, okay, so standard tech, we do like seeing standard tech, but um, again, we're so poor, I'm not 100% convinced we can play that. Our opponent does investment loan. That's a little scary. So he just sells standard tech there in order to claim Gardener, afraid that Credit Corps is going to do some bamboozle and uh, SP Greenery to then claim uh, Gardener. So that is correct. Credit Corps could do this, so you do have to defend on it. But just a little sad to be so poor and then have to sell one of our precious cycles to defend Gardener, which is another reason why I would have just held off on the playing and cycling to begin with here. Our opponent plays Wave Power for the Cupola City, I assume. Oh, Dome Crater. Okay, Dome Crater is fine. Little greedy to play it there, hoping to get the full adjacencies when you could have placed it over there, but uh, maybe it'll pay off for him. We'll see. All right, Builder is claimed, so that means that right now it's a fight about Terraformer, versus mayor versus planner and uh since mayor's already there i'm pretty sure mayor is going to credit court here all right um satellites is garbage callisto is garbage 
worms is at least one plant prod, but also garbage, so clear small animals for me here. Use that to hit his plants, and uh, you had the viral enhancers, so looking pretty happy with that. Yep, so small animals. Um, I don't think you want to give towing to Credicor, because that is... Uh, just the O2 bonus. In fact, maybe we want the towing a comet with optimal arrow breaking. Have a chance to get the ocean bonus like that. So clear towing a comet to me here. Yep. Uh, worms, I guess. Sure, satellites, I guess. It doesn't matter. Neither of them is very good. Um, so I would take small animals and towing a comet would be my thought. So here's again where that whole being poor is more expensive than being rich thought comes into play. Again, we want to play optimal arrow breaking. And then with the optimal arrow breaking, we want to like play asteroid to then use the titanium on towing a comet into a conversion. And if we hadn't done that whole science barrage here, we would have the money to possibly afford this. But we did, so we don't. And so now, if we want to get the oxygen bonus, it looks like we might just have to do towing a comet immediately. And if we do that, that means we can't afford to keep small animals, but we want that with the viral enhancers. And so we're just in a really awkward situation here. <clears throat> so if it were me, I would not have played the science. I would have kept small animals and towing. And I would open with probably optimal asteroid into towing convert and then play the small animals with the viral enhancers already have been down a while ago. Maybe we'd have our TI prod on our uh, titanium all this time, but uh, we're not in that situation. So here I think I would still greed the small animals. I would probably just go for the optimal arrow breaking asteroid line blow up our opponent's plants and basically say, uh, yeah, you could maybe standard to greenery and convert next gen, but uh, I have some compensation with herbies and small animals and viral enhancers and all that jazz. But uh, Meister just takes towing a comet, so understandable, just I feel like our decisions are compounding and our inefficiencies are stacking up here. So towing a comet there um, makes some sense. Uh, rather than the two cash, I think I would take the two titanium. We have space events to play, and we're very poor, so I think I'd value getting extra four cash over one plant in this situation. We do the conversion, which I like. Our opponent claims mayor, which he kind of had to because we are getting close to threatening on the terraformer. He maybe could agree to it, but why risk it? All right, we get big asteroids, so that's excellent. But even more reasons why we need titanium now. We raise heat. Um, I think we have to do that to keep the income going up, but it does risk uh, grass now if our opponent has grass. They have livestock instead. Okay. So... Not the best cows, not the worst cows. Uh, invention contest, uh, we would have liked to have kept that with Olympus and Mars U, but we're so poor that he doesn't think he can afford 5 mega credits for that uh, usage. I think I would have kept it in his position, but I understand trying to be lean in this position, but I think we're just letting too many great synergies slip through our fingers here. Opponent raises heat, and we're done, and they're done. All right. Uh, I would really like to take that comet with our space uh, package going on here. But that urbanized area is a pretty juicy urbanized area at the same time. Uh, so this is a really tough one for me. On the one hand, that urbanized is uh, a very valuable point swing. On the other hand, that Comet is fantastic value for us with optimal arrow breaking and uh, our other space events giving us all this titanium. <sighs> I think I would say that urbanized area is not quite 
as good since our opponent doesn't have power and I would take the Comet. But it's really tough because our opponent has such a good spot here with like SP City and then you have this amazing like four point urbanized area. Like that's really good. Uh, or even this one which is three points though. It's not so good because it's three points versus just two points if you put a greenery right there. So... Yeah, I'm not sure that one's so good, which is why I think I would skip the urbanized area and take the Comet, but uh, Meister takes urbanized area, and I think that's also reasonable. It's very good for our opponent. Uh, media group, hello. Uh, this is our way to kind of get back into the game, because uh, we've been so poor, we can now get a media group and optimal arrow breaking combo with our cards in our hand, and uh, we'll be rich. And if we had the Comet, uh, that'd make it even better, so... A little punished, but I understand why it happened. Uh, land claim seems pretty good in this situation, which is something that we maybe should have considered, right? <laughs> um, so our opponent, uh, if we take the Comet, they take the Urbanized Area. We get the land claim back. Now we can land claim the Urbanized Area spot. Uh, not a bad uh, tactic. So I think land claim is the pickup here. and You could even keep it with Media Group now. But we take those two. I think urbanized area is fine, but uh, I think Comet was slightly better there. Our opponent plays Geothermal Power into Cupola City. They're loving the cities, so yeah, that could have been a little bit sad, right? They immediately get the Geothermal Power for the power floating over. They put the Cupola right here and then urbanized area, and it's a bit of a disaster. But uh. Again, I think uh, if we pick up the land claim, even if they do that play, we immediately can punish them, which is just great. Uh, we draw pets. Uh, that would have been great a while ago, but not so good right now. Heather. Uh, he keeps Heather. So I think this is a little bit of a mis-evaluation on his part. We've skipped cards like Invention Contest and... Uh, we're keeping kind of mediocre cards like Heather. Yes, we have Viral Enhancers, but that's all we have. And so are we really in that interested in paying nine mega credits for one plant prod? Like, that's not so different than just, you know, a lichen at this stage of the game. It's just doesn't seem impactful enough to waste our money on this versus the other things that we've skipped. Knock the city, so we did pass it. That is unfortunate that our opponent is getting the value of knock the city, but playing it early means it's not quite as valuable. So, eh. Rover construction kind of popping off for him, though. So we do finally get the viral enhancers down, and we find quantum. That's nice, but uh, we already have enough power, so I'm not sure it's really playable, but... It also discounts uh, four cards in hand, so four power for five cash. Not so bad. Buy pets. Hello, Mining Expedition. Uh, mining Expedition could be okay, I suppose, with Media Group, but probably not playable. Livestock. Yeah, makes sense. All right, so Heather, it gets us our conversion, but I'm not thrilled about it. And we're giving him a point to get the four cash. It's fine. We are poor enough. I think that makes sense. So we play media group. Seems good. We're selling a card, which again, I'm not a huge fan of when we have cycles with Mars University. But okay, he wants to stall out. And our opponent plays media archives, which seems not good. <laughs> uh, if you pay three mega credits for the card, that means that you are basically just getting... Plus two cash seems a little weak, <laughs> especially since Meister just played media group. He's saying he's going to play more media, you know, event cards. But all right, Med Lab is pretty good. Plus six production, it's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> urbanized area goes down. Uh, I don't think there was a huge rush necessarily, but fine. I I suppose you could put a greenery there and block it. So we bought it. Might as well play it. So sure. <laughs> Um, we have power, our opponent doesn't, but they have three power tags, so I think Power Supply Consortium makes the most sense here. 
Uh, Interstellar Colony Ship is playable for us. We have Optimal and uh, Media and the Science Tag, so I would take and keep it, even though it's not great. It's good enough. We're currently down by five points, too, so we need to find some scoring, I'd say. But Meister skips it all, and I don't agree with that. I think we really needed to get the value with Optimal and Media and the four points there. So we play Optimal, and then we play Big Asteroid, blowing up his plants. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Nitro Moss is played, and then he funds Banker. So on the one hand, we were so poor, I really would have liked to have gotten uh, one of these awards for eight. But I'm not convinced we can fund Scientist. I don't think we can really fund Thermalist. Miner is too risky to fund, and Landlord is currently like 11 to 9. Again, pretty risky to fund. So I'm not convinced we could fund anything, and our opponent just gets a very easy banker. So it's unfortunate, but I think the correct read is that we just can't fund anything right now. Aquifer pumping, not very good. Our opponent gets its points. Adapted Lycan, we skip. So again, like, Adapted Lycan, we skip. Heather, we keep. Like, I get it's a 3 mega credit difference, but I think it's just a misevaluation on priorities there. Junior Pair comes down, so now Scientist is even more threatened. And we sell a card to Stall. They play Aos Chasma, which adds to the livestock. That's pretty nice. Tech demo, we draw our cards, get all of our value. Business contacts and acquired company. Business contacts is nice, acquired company is not. Power infrastructure could be good for three cash later on if we have a glut of steel, but I don't think we will, so it doesn't seem that good. Opponents raising heat. We are at the point now that uh, we can take the ocean bonus. Uh, like asteroid here gets us uh, some heat. Gets us up to 22 heat. Now we can just raise heat twice and get the ocean. So that's some good value for us. Okay, again, the plant, not so important to me. I think the titanium matters a whole lot more in our position. But we are out of titanium dumps now, so the plant makes a little more sense. But even the steel is fine here because we need, like, Radkim as well, right? But uh, we play trees, all right? I'm a big fan of trees with viral enhancers here. We get another conversion. Excellent. And play business contacts, which I don't like. I'd have waited another gen because we're poor and can't do anything with our information right now. A uh, large convoy is nice, so I think you take that. And we're never playing asteroid mining. I would take uh, GHG since we have the science synergies and maybe scientist as a fun later on. Yep, which he does. Um, so he takes. Greenhouses here. Greenhouses makes enough sense to me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cities down. So this is seven plants for six. Seems great. Uh, mining area is probably the best. I don't see any insulation for banker steals happening here. Sure. Uh, I'd just take tardy since designed is unplayable. And... Uh, I think it's just greenhouses here, though mining area on titanium is cute. Um, just a little late at this stage of the game, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he agrees. Uh, opponent opens with giant ice asteroid. Uh, ouch, that's very painful. And they just make a nice six cash back spot right next to their city, so that's very good for them. And then they raise their heat there. Seems good. Meister plays Mining Expedition to kill off two of their plants. And then raises the heat. So I hate that move. I hate that move so much. Because look at what can happen now. Our opponent is Credicor with 37 cash. They do a standard greenery here, and that is getting 10 cash back, right? That means they're at 47 cash, which means that with just these two oxygen remaining, SP greenery, sell your cards, SP greenery, game ends. You're currently down by 10 points. 
Uh, maybe you could then fund, you know, scientists or uh, thermalists, but uh, they're getting another point uh, with their cities here. Uh, you're not getting a point with uh, your cities. They're going to get the uh, TR here, which is going to be an additional two. Uh, yeah, so you're just losing now. You've lost. You blundered the game. So I think that was very sloppy on his part to do so. And they see it, and they do the SP greenery. All they have to do is sell their cards, one more SP greenery, and they win. All right, so scientists funded. Livestock activated. All right, Lagrange is nice, but too late. The game is ending. Our opponent plays decomposers. What? Oh, no. Business network shuttles. Yeah, sure. Uh, shuttles, it does discount enough of the hand that's probably worth it. Advanced ecosystems, and we don't have viral enhancers for our opponent, so they that means they can't end. So they, they threw it. They had the chance to win, and now they're having to go one more generation. So big mistake by opponent here to not just see the opportunity to win. But good news for Meister. Maybe it'll be enough to pull off a win here. So shuttles is good. Yeah, Rad came is fine with that steel we have lying around. Uh, play the Urbies, sure. It's a little late for the Urbies, but it should still be a couple points. Down nine points. Uh, might be able to fund an award. We funded Scientist. Um, we are only up by one. That's a little risky, but we have three Science Tags in hand. They only have four cards. It's probably okay. Probably. <laughs> uh... I think with greenhouses in hand, I might have done a uh, landlord instead, but eh, who, who's to say? Credit Corp just standard greeneries and cities, so it doesn't feel that safe either. None of the awards felt very safe, which is why I'm not sure we had to fund right there. I don't think they can win any of them. Um, probably Thermalist was the safest with optimal arrow breaking, honestly. It's 14 to 17, so I think maybe just... Funding Thermalist and not taking the heat was the better play there. Insects is a good card here. It is, you know, five plants. Uh, six plants, I guess, with greenhouses. Uh, it's funny. Protected Valley and NRA here. Um, NRA, uh, no, wait. Protected Valley, I think it doesn't really matter. But uh, I guess Protected Valley is uh, Landlord and... Uh, a little bit towards decomposers, but I think NRA is just more points. So I think I'd have taken the NRA there. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Simbi is fine, uh, since our opponent probably is not going to play uh, Beam here. And just Insects makes enough sense to me. Okay, we convert for 4 cash back to get the last TR, but uh, an unfortunate reality is we kind of need a city to score some points here, but we don't have a city available. And we kind of need to fund, uh, which we do, we fund uh, Thermalist, so that's done. But 34 cash to make up seven points, and our opponent has all this, a little scary. Our opponent converts next to their city, fine. Uh, one action's kind of rude, I think, but whatever. Tundra farming is fine. We're just one action fest then, huh? All right, we're just skipping back and forth. Research. Oh, no. The one card we did not want them to have, and they have it. So now Scientist has swung over to them. We have to play two Science Tags now to swing it back. So Lagrange, we draw our card, and we cycle. GHG is cute with uh, Thermalist funded, but I don't think it's needed. Uh, Ecozone, a little too late, buddy. Could have used you a while ago. And Mineral Deposit is funny, but we don't have any real sinks for our steel, so useless. Though with Media Group, it's still worth playing. I suppose it is technically positive cash. And Breathing Filters? Dude! Oh, Scientist is looking real bad for us now. Uh, Ecological Zone played for uh, two points. I think that's fine. But again, we kind of need a city to score some points here. Anti-grav? Dude, we, we, 
Where did all these science decks come from? You had four cards in hand. So a little unlucky on Meister's part, but also why I'm not convinced that we had to fund Scientist here. We're still winning Landlord. Uh, we're winning Thermalist. Our opponent uh, can't even fund Miner either, so I didn't think we were in any rush to fund here. I think we could have just done whatever. So I think waiting on the fund made the most sense. All right, um, Equatorial is technically one point with all the steel we've got. Okay, SP Greenery from our opponent means their hand is a little empty at least after the Antigraph. Then they play Solar Power? Yeah, all right. Four, four point, I guess. So greenhouses, a lot of points, uh, a lot of plants, seven plants coming in. <laughs> now we're forced to play the GHG bacteria uh, for the scientist count. Uh, that's so incredibly painful. We find birds, that's nice. Opponent sells cards, they're out of science cards at least. Play indentured into birds. Birds eats their plants. It keeps them from getting another conversion. And with ecozone, it's still positive points. I think ecozone is now up to uh, five uh, animals there. So not the. It's two points, but doesn't really do too much for us. How is only five, by the way? Did he not grab an animal? Because we played greenhouses after ecozone, right? So Ecozone along with birds feels like it should have gotten us uh, uh, another point there. But whatever. It's not enough to overcome 16 point difference here. Play a sad magnetizer for one point. But a uh, scientist is tied. There's no way to swing it back. So we paid 14 for zero points. Which is really unfortunate. And not only that, but we even had to play the GHG bacteria to even even it up. So it was really 22 for zero points. And that is that. With that point, uh, the score is tallied up and it's uh, lost by like 10 points or so. Yeah, nine point loss. So, what do I think could have been done differently? I think Teractor over Inventrix makes a huge difference in the amount of cash that we have early on and our ability to use our synergies to arrive at better points. Um, I think the whole sequence in the second to last gen with the asteroid and the mining expedition handed the game to our opponent on the silver platter. So I think that was a huge mistake. And... Uh, yeah, I think this is just an example of how a poor beginning leads to a poor end of the game, and poor Inventrix definitely led up to its reputation of being too poor to do anything. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys can learn from that and uh, apply that lesson in your own games. So uh, thanks, Meister, for submitting the game uh, for the review, and if you guys have any uh, other games that you'd like for me to review uh, that are interesting, uh, feel free to send them my way. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.